TV Recap here. Today, we will be talking about the first and second episode of a TV show called Ghosts. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Ghosts is an American television sitcom that deals with a married couple recently inheriting a country estate and spirits inhabiting the mansion. The episode begins in a mansion in Woodstone. A frail and dying woman lays in bed, eyes closed and ready to pass away. As she lays there, several people surround the foot of her bed. Trevor Lefkowitz, the most recently deceased of the ghosts and a wealthy, hard-partying Wall Street trader who died in 2000 from a heart attack not wearing pants. Beside him is a woman named Alberta Haynes. Alberta is a flamboyant Prohibition-era jazz singer who died from drinking poisoned moonshine. Next to her is Pete Martino, a Girl Scouts leader who died in 1985 when one of his scouts accidentally shot him through the neck with an arrow. Now Pete walks around with an arrow punctured on his neck. Behind Pete is Thorfinn, a Viking and the oldest of the ghosts, who set out on an expedition to North America but was abandoned by his shipmates and died of a lightning strike. In front of Thor is the Lady of the Manor, Hetty Woodstone. Captain Isaac Higgintoot, an American revolutionary officer who died of dysentery, stands next to another ghost, Flower. Flower is a hippie who died while trying to befriend a wild bear. Standing next to her is a cynical and Napain Native American named Sassapis. While Crash, a 1050s era style ghost stands behind them, has died of decapitation. The Woodstone Mansion has been inhabited by the ghosts of these people who died on its grounds over a thousand year period. As these ghosts talk about the worst ways of dying, a bright light shines upon them as the frail old woman passes. Her spirit floats on top of her corpse and she asks who the ghosts surrounding her bed are. They begin introducing themselves and telling the old woman that some ghosts pass on to the afterlife, while the rest of the unfortunate few are cursed to spend eternity on Earth. Then the old woman's spirit passes on, leaving the rest of the ghosts wondering as to who gets to take over the house next. Not long after, Samantha and Jay, a married couple living in a cramped New York apartment, receive word about inheriting an old mansion. The lawyer tells them that Sam's great-aunt Sophie just recently passed and Sam is the next of kin. Jay wonders about inheriting a mansion out of the blue and wonders about what the catch is. The lawyer reassures them that there isn't any. Jay is reluctant to move into the new mansion, but Sam has thought about opening a bed and breakfast because she thinks that since Jay is a chef, they're halfway knowledgeable about how to run a B&B. Jay tells her that they will still talk about it, but Sam is certain that nothing can go wrong. One day, as the ghosts gather around the living room, telling stories, Trevor talks about partying, which most of the ghosts who died way before movies were invented couldn't understand what he is talking about. Suddenly, Thor notices that a car is driving by the property. Trevor notices Sam while Isaac, who happens to be a closeted gay, notices Jay's appearance. As the couple enter the mansion, the ghosts begin to descend to where they are. Thor turns around and knocks over Crash's head, causing his decapitated head to fall to the ground, leaving Crash's body to walk around the house headless. Inside the home, Sam and Jay talk about how the house has been in the family for generations. Flower is excited to know that Sam is related to Hetty. The ghosts are relieved to know that there is still plenty of room for them there, as it is the couple who will only be staying. Sam decides to light a sage in order to get rid of the bad spirits around the house. The ghosts, however, find the scent really pleasant and begin following her around the house. The ghosts begin to like the new couple moving in, as the couple plan on giving the home a little refurnishing. But they soon learn that Sam and Jay plan to open a bed and breakfast hotel, causing the ghosts to be completely afraid of dozens of people roaming around the mansion. Even worse, being walked through by the living, which the ghosts consider a deeply painful experience besides their deaths. Fearing constant disturbance and risk of being walked through by the living, the ghosts begin to conjure up a plan on how to get rid of the couple. But Sassipus believes that there is a fine line between the living and the dead and they should respect the boundaries. Suddenly, Jay walks back to the room and goes through Sassipus, causing him great pain. Jay walks through him again, causing the Native American to switch sides and haunt the couple out of the mansion. That night, the group of ghosts begin to talk about their individual skills and how it can contribute to their plan. Thor has the ability to make lights flicker since he died of lightning. Because Isaac died of dysentery, it smells really terrible when the living walks through him, while Alberta can project her singing and can be heard by the living. For the grand finale, Trevor can interact with the physical world to a limited degree if he concentrates hard enough. The next morning, the group of ghosts go to great lengths to haunt the married couple out of the house, but they fail miserably. Jay, unaware of any of the hauntings, decides to fix the heater found in the basement. In the basement are a group of ghosts who died of cholera. Meanwhile, Trevor is still devastated by not being able to physically tip the vase over, as was their original plan, so he spends his time concentrating on it as hard as he can, with Pete cheering him on. Trevor manages to tip the vase over and it falls to the ground. Subsequently, Sam and Jay get into an argument over Jay confessing to his wife that he doesn't want to move into the mansion. 
Sam gets angry and walks out on him. As she proceeds to make her way down the stairs, she trips over the vase that Trevor manages to knock over, causing Sam to fall several flights down and almost dying. Jay brings Sam to the hospital and she survives the fall. Weeks after being in a coma, Jay tells Sam that he will take her home. Then her husband brings her to the mansion and tells her that he agrees to do the B&B. The construction crew arrives after them, surprising Sam. Sam enters the home and notices Trevor who is oddly dressed for a construction worker. Trevor runs away in horror and tells his group about Sam's new ability to see and hear them. The episode ends when Jay takes Sam to the newly painted bedroom and the ghosts walk through the wall one by one, realizing that Sam can truly see them. Meanwhile, Sam gets really freaked out while Jay keeps blabbering about the yellow painted room. Room. Suddenly, Crash's headless body walks inside the room, letting Sam scream her head out. The episode 2 begins with Sam waking up. She heads to the bathroom and notices the curtains on the shower moving. She opens the shower curtains to reveal a pigeon flying out of the showers. She is startled by the pigeon, but relieved that it is nothing more. Sam turns around and is freaked out by Pete who greets her. They both shout and Sam grabs the nearest thing she finds and chases the ghost that runs through the door. Sam gets knocked out by hitting her head on the door chasing after Pete. Pete goes to the living room and confirms to the group that Sam can still see them. Isaac tells the group that they can use Sam's ability to their advantage. They consider talking to Sam instead of asking her to leave. They will try to convince her to no longer open a B&B, but they can still stay in the mansion. Meanwhile, Sam goes looking for Jay and they meet by the corridor. Sam tells her husband that she can still see the ghosts, but Jay believes that they are just symptoms of her injuries and induced coma. Samantha begins describing the ghosts that only she can see. She tells Jay about a hippie, a viking, and a guy dressed like Hamilton. Isaac wonders who this Hamilton is and realizes that she is talking about Alexander Hamilton. Sam tells Jay that the ghosts seem real, which they are. But Jay, unable to see or hear them, asks his wife if she thinks she's seeing ghosts or suffering symptoms from severe concussion. Sam thinks it's the concussion. Jay asks Sam to lie down and rest while he figures out how to use a drill through the internet. The people who died long before the internet was invented wonder what the thing is. Jay believes that he can save money by doing the small things and compares about the man on the painting and his riches versus theirs. Hetty is shocked to see a painting of her philandering husband hanging on the wall. As Sam leaves to take a rest and tries her best to ignore the ghosts, Jay walks through Trevor and Alberta and makes his way to the bedroom of Hetty. Jay wants to turn the bedroom into a man cave. Unaware of how a drill works, Jay manages to make a big hole revealing the bedroom of flower next to Hetty's, devastating the lady of the mansion. Soon after, the ghosts are now worried that they cannot speak to Samantha because her husband has convinced her that the ghosts aren't real. So, they decide to continuously speak to Sam, annoying her until she eventually has no choice but to speak to them. In the kitchen, Pete tries to speak to Sam who is actively not listening to him as she wipes the pots and pans clean. Sam glances at Pete and tries to ignore him. She puts the spoon down and opens the door to the kitchen, revealing Thor who gives her a growl. She ignores this and takes a towel hanging on the door. That night, she lays in bed staring at the ceiling. Jay asks her if she feels better, but Alberta enters the room and begins blabbering about certain people who might have been the suspect to her death. Sam tells her husband that it's not getting any better. Jay falls asleep while Sam tries her best to sleep as well. Meanwhile, Hetty lies on her bed, annoyed by Flower's constant chatter about bears, hugs, and bear hugs. Hetty begs her to stop talking because she is trying to sleep. Flower wonders why they sleep even though they are already dead. And then the hippies continue to ramble some more. The next morning, Sam wakes up to see Sassipus sitting on the bed and tries to talk to her. The Native American begins telling her stories as she makes her coffee. Sam walks out of the kitchen and into another room. She meets Steve, the electrician, but thinks Steve's a ghost. Steve has just finished installing the TV and turns it on. They leave Thor watching Viking shows on TV. Subsequently, Isaac begs Trevor to use the internet to look up Alexander Hamilton and comes to find that Hamilton has had many accomplishments, while Isaac is only a footnote in history. Meanwhile, Sam tries her best to ignore Hetty and Thor's requests, when Jay calls for Sam in the basement. Sam then meets the group of ghosts in the basement who begin telling her to tell Jay to turn the red valve. In the doctor's office, Sam tells the male doctor about her paranormal encounters. The doctor tells her that her ability is quite rare and that the last time he seen it was around 85 years ago. Sam is confused and asks the doctor how old he is. The male doctor tells Sam that he died when he was 50. Sam gets startled when her living doctor enters the office. On their way home, Sam is relieved to know that she is not crazy despite the living doctor thinking she's delusional. However, after encountering more ghosts during the doctor's appointment, she eventually accepts their existence and convinces her husband that they are real. They drive back to the mansion and she asks the ghosts individually what they want so they can leave her alone. Thor wants to watch TV once a day. Isaac requests to have a book written about him. Seeing as Sam is a writer and eventually adapt the book into an award-winning Broadway musical so history may know his name. While Hetty asks for the painting of her husband to be taken down and patch up the wall in her bedroom. As for Sassipus, he asks for the radios to be kept on all afternoon. The episode ends when the ghosts who died of cholera tell Sam to instruct Jay how to fix the heater in the basement. Accomplishing the task, Jay decides to believe Sam about the ghosts. Jay eventually patches the hole in Hetty's bedroom by putting the picture of Hetty's husband to cover the hole up. Meanwhile, Sam begins writing a book about Isaac's greatest accomplishments while the American Revolutionary Officer dictates his past achievements to her. Subscribe for more videos like this.
turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel. Thank you.